This video is about complete guide of TIA portal for beginner level programmer in Siemens. I will try to cover all basic things of TIA portal. Okay. If you are new on TIA portal, then this video is for you. So watch the full video and don't skip any part of video. Okay. We are starting right now. My name is Rishikesh and you are watching Industrial Automation Channel. Okay. Let's start. Just go to all programs. First, we will open the TIA portal. Okay, so in all programs, you will have the folder name as Siemens Automation. Just click on Siemens Automation. Okay, if you have not installed TIA portal, then watch my previous video. In that video, you can see how to install the TIA portal version 17. Okay, link is in above. Okay, so first install the TI portal and then you can learn the uh, TI portal okay so after installation you will have this folder name as Siemens Automation just click on Siemens Automation so I have installed a TI portal v13 14 15 and 16 okay so all versions I have installed already so let's we'll start with v16 so just click on TI portal v16 so this dialog is showing the TI portal is opening. Friends, don't skip any part of this video for better understanding. If you are new in TI portal, after watching this tutorial, you are you will be the more aware about the TI portal. Okay. So you can see this is detail view of ti portal here you can see these are my recent project okay so your recent projects will appear here okay. then on this side you can see from this tab if you click on this tab you can see your recent project here if you click on create new project uh, you can create new project with this one for migrate project from world one world version to new version you can click on migrate project okay here you can see your installed software means your version of ti portal and all so this is you can see this is ti for totally integrated automation portal version v16 showing options okay so here uh, here you can see your installed versions and all uh, then I have installed Star Drive also, Steps and Professional also, WinCC Advance. Okay. So with this tab, you can see Help. Okay. If help will open in another tab. So if I click on Help, the next uh, one more tab will open. Okay. We will go again on this. Okay. Uh, from here you can select the language okay so and i have selected english language during installation so it will show the english right so we'll start with the create new project okay before starting i will show you project view okay if you want any uh, pre open any previous backup you can just click on this browse button you can give the path of your project okay if any particular path and you can select open okay in this in this way you can open the existing backup of ti portal right if you want open uh, from this list so you can just scroll down okay you can select any one and you can just click on open but open then this backup will open okay if you want any uh, remove any project from this list you can just click on this and you, if you click on this remove button the project will remove from recently used okay so let's go to project view click on project view okay. this is project view if you want again previous view then you can if you will click on just this portal view then you will have the portal view okay 
so what we can do in this ti portal okay we can program uh, to siemens vlcs like s7 1200 s7 300 s7 1500 then we can program uh, we can design the screens for hmi for, uh, we can design the screens for scada we can develop the scada software in this we can communicate with the drive we can parameterize the drive okay so let's just go to project view okay this is project view right so from here from project you can create new project by click on this new tab okay you can open the existing project from this open okay if you want achieve the project what it means if you want if you have uh, any backup it means if you have any backup open here if you have any project open here and if you want to take backup of this project then you can take with this archive if you uh, click on archive the backup will be created for this project right so here you can see the recent projects okay from this exit you can exit the app uh, okay so let's create new project okay so just click on project new okay now here you can give the name to the project right so let's take as a test project okay select the path for project where you want to save this project So I will just select the desktop folder. Okay, we will we'll save on desktop. Okay, you can give the author name here. Okay, so I will give my name here. Okay, you can give any comment here. If you don't want, just skip on this. Skip this part. Just click on create. So new project is creating. okay new project is created okay now after creating project you can see here project name okay devices and networks okay and group devices okay so now we have not added any device so it will not show anything here so very first step of any project is to add devices so to add device means to select your plc model number to select your hmi model number or scada model number okay so let's first select hardware okay this is now we are in devices and network tab okay after clicking on this you will have this window right so here on right side you can see the uh, controller chmi controller means plcs if you click on this controller you can see the plcs so you can program s7 1200 s7 1500 s7 300 s7 400 in and s8200 uh, cpus so you can program all these controllers in the ti portal okay so next you can see the hmi here this is schematic basic panel Okay, in this three inch, four inch, six inch, whatever. Okay, then comfort panel, same four inch, seven inch, nine inch. Okay, you have to select your hardware properly. Okay, then you can see PC system, POS card, right? Drivers and starters. then uh, network component then uh, ios remote ios distributed ios field devices other field devices means uh, profinet devices you can see the multiple drives here okay cinemics drives here all these are drives on profinet you can take uh, any of these drive we can configure drive we can communicate with vlc Okay, you can see encoders here, gateway, IOS, sensors, profiles, DP. Okay, so these are the all hardware we can configure in TI portal. 
the devices which are including in this list we can configure we can program in this ti portal okay so this is very very good software if you are if you are hands on in this then if you can become a good siemens programmer okay so here you need to practice much and much on ti portal okay. so for example now we will select one vlc here okay so i just go in controller let's take 1200 vlc so we'll take uh, any let's suppose cpu 1214c dc 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 I will select any one from this okay so just drag and drop here okay okay you can see plc here okay so in this devices and networks there are three tabs first topology view this is network view this is device view okay once you click on this plc if you double click on this you will go in device view of this plc okay so you are in now device view okay so now we have selected the plc right so if you click on this now you can add here multiple input output cards right you can add expansion cards here right you can add communication cards here okay so let's suppose add one more card here so on right hand side you can see again hardware catalog here so we'll just take as didio card okay just select and drag and drop okay so in first slot we will add the card okay now you can see this is plc and this is expansion card so you can add multiple cards here okay suppose you have analog input card then just go to ai card okay let's go to anyone so whenever you will select this model number first just cross check the model number uh, which is on hardware you need to select same as per hardware mlfb number okay so same this number should be on your hardware so as per your hardware you have to select your mlfb number right means this is model number so let's suppose take this okay now we have plc then uh, didq card then analog input card okay if you see network view you can see the plc if you will go to device view or if you double click on this you will go in detail of plc right so now again just go to network view let's take an one hmi here okay so i will just go to hmi let's take the basic panel say one inch that is ktp 700 basic let's just select one drag and drop here perfect so now in network view you have two hardware first one is a plc second one is a hmi right so if you click on plc you will give the you will go to the device view of plc if you click on hmi then you will go to the device view of hmi okay here you can see this is device view of hmi right
Okay. We will just go to HMI device view. Actually, this is not Ethernet uh, HMI. So we will just delete this model. And we will take Profinet base HMI. Okay. Just click on this. Let's add. This is basic PN. PN means profinity. Perfect. Now we have to establish communication between PLC and HMI. Right? So I will just click on this. This is you can see if I move the cursor over here. This is uh, profinity. Right? Profinity switch means it is Ethernet port. RJ45 port Ethernet. Right? Here same we have Ethernet port, right? So we'll just click on this and we'll connect this Ethernet port to the this Ethernet port. Okay. So the now link is established between PLC and HMI. Okay. Means now PLC we have uh, established communication between PLC and HMI with the help of Profinet cable. Right or Ethernet cable. Now let's check for the IP address of PLC and HMI both. So just go to PLC. You can see here on PLC you have the Ethernet port here. Right click or double click on this. If you will click right click, then just go to properties. below you will have the properties just take it as above yeah here you can see the ethernet addresses right so by default address for plc is 192.168.0.1 okay you can modify it you can give 192.168.0.10 so you can modify the address in this way for plc right so let's check another properties of PLC. Okay. So I just I just whenever I will click on PLC, so it will show the all properties of related to PLC. If I just click on this Ethernet port, then it will just show the properties of Ethernet port. Right. So if you will click on any card, it will show the properties of card. Okay. If I click on another one it will show the that particular card properties right so let's go to plc properties okay if this window is hidden from here you can hide this window okay now the property window is hide so if you click right click on this you will just go to properties you will have the property window perfect so let's check for the properties this is project information project name username comments and all this is catalog information means this is plc's uh, model number this is mlfb number article number which will be on plc this should be uh, same as to be plc then this is firmware okay firmware is also uh, written on plc uh, so it is all already printed on plc so you have to also check this firmware version if it is not uh, matching with the uh, hardware firmware then uh, just click on this change firmware version you can change the version from this okay so just cross check the firmware also okay so you can see here this is current device means which we have taken already the version of this device and what you want to convert into which version you want so if i want 2.0 i will select here 2.0 and i will click on ok ok so we will just cancel this you can change the firmware like this again here profinet interface in profinet interface 
can give the name ethernet address which we have recently modified 0.10 we can modify again here let's uh, take as a by default okay advanced options just let it be don't do anything here time synchronization if you want uh, synchronize the time with the NTP server you can just click on enable here and you have to give the server IP address here right so let's go ahead speed input so you have to just click on this enable this high speed counter okay I will uh, I will take separate tutorial on this okay. so let's go ahead this is PTO this is used for servo okay so this is also used uh, we are not going to talk about this in this video because this video is for beginner level and these uh, these things are for uh, some advanced level so, okay so we'll take in uh, advanced level lectures all these things okay so in startup you can set here warm restart mode before power off means if your cpu is in stop mode before power on so after power on it will be in stop mode okay so better way i always keep as a warm restart in run mode means after power on the cpu will be in go in run mode okay uh, go to next communication load okay system and clock memory i always prefer to enable this use of system memory so that in program we can take this bit as always to m1.1 we can uh, sorry m1.2 we can take as always to 1.3 we can take as a always false okay so always uh, enable this and uh, you can take also you can enable clock memory byte also okay so here on m 0.0 this is 10 hertz clock means uh, and this is 0.1 this is 5 hertz clock okay so these bits are also useful in program so I always prefer to click on this and use these bits in program ok so web server is again for advanced level ok we will not go deep in web server okay. time of day you can select your local time zone here so I will select my time zone that is plus 530 
ओके गुड प्रोटेक्शन यू कैन गिव द राइट प्रोटेक्शन री राइट प्रोटेक्शन इज यू कैनॉट रीड प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम पी एल सी यू कैनॉट अपलोड प्रोग्राम फॉर पी एल सी यू इफ यू गिव दिस पासवर्ड हेयर ओके सो विदाउट पासवर्ड यू कैंट अपलोड और डाउनलोड दिस ओके सो ऑल दिस इज अबाउट पी एल सी लेट्स चेक द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कार्ड्स सो दिस डी आई डी ओ कार्ड्स डिजिटल इनपुट्स यू कैन सी सो ऑन दिस कार्ड वी हैव द एड्रेसिस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एट पॉइंट जीरो हेयर यू कैन चेक द स्टार्टिंग एड्रेस इज एट पॉइंट जीरो एंड योर एड्रेस इज नाइन पॉइंट सेवन ओके आई हेव टेकन सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर दिस आई ऑलरेडी टेकन आई विल जस्ट प्रोवाइड द लिंक अब इफ यू वॉन्ट इन डीप सो जस्ट वॉच दिस वीडियो ओके सो लेट्स चेक फॉर ऑन अदर वन सो इन दिस वे you can check the individual properties of hardware okay so let's go in network view so here in device view if you want to check hmi properties just click here your all hardware will appear here so we have two hardware that is one hmi one plc so both uh, hardware are showing here so let's check for hmi okay so for hmi if you double click on this the property will open you can give them, you can change the ethernet address from here right we have by default 0.2 okay so all this uh, this is uh, we have seen how to take plc's and hmi so now you can see after we have taken this hardware the plc is created here ओके एंड वन एच एम आई क्रिएटेड हेयर राइट सो इन दिस पी एल सी इफ आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस बटन ओके सो दीज आर दैरामीटर्स फॉर द पी एल सी ओके मीन्स यू कैन राइट प्रोग्राम्स हेयर इन प्रोग्राम ब्लॉक ओके विल सी नेक्स्ट इन वीडियो विल जस्ट शो यू so this is plc this is for hmi program right so in this way if you add multiple if you add multiple uh, devices here then uh, it will appear here right so whatever you will add in devices and networks whatever you will add in the devices and networks it will appear in this uh, in this uh, detail view right okay so now this is plc1 you can see this is plc1 so this this is for this plc1 right so i will show you what is in this plc1 right so if you click on this device configuration you will again go to the device view of plc right so in online and diagnostic if you are online to the plc right now i have no hardware so i am not online to the hardware actual hardware but if you are on uh, already connected to the hardware online then you can see here if you have any error and all you can see the error or any diagnostics from this analog and diagnostic okay okay now it's showing uh, it's showing communication break here means we are not connected to the plc if you are connected to the plc if you have actual hardware then select uh, this profinet here same your uh, ethernet driver here okay and if you will click on go online then this program will go online to the plc perfect so now this is a program block where actually we can write our ladder code right so this is main ob if you click on this main ob you can see this is this is the main ob means uh, you can create multiple fcs here or multiple blocks here but all this fcs and uh, fc should be called in this ob okay 
so here you can write your ladder programming okay so let's add new block just click on add new block here you can see ob fb fc and dv right so what is this fb ob fc and db we will take a separate lecture on this or detail uh, detailing of in this okay? so right now we will take a one fc here we will give the name uh, just we will give the name manual okay manual program click on okay okay now you can see there are two blocks this is one main block this is manual program block which we have created recently so in this way you can add multiple blocks here you can write program in this here also you can write code in this fc also okay but this fc should be called in this ob okay suppose if you click this okay so let's take here manual you can see this fc1 showing here after typing manual just select now just see the flow of program so very first main main block uh, main block will execute right so in main block now the manual program will execute means it will jump to the manual program and the code written in this program the ladder uh, you have written in this program will execute okay we'll see in detail so let's go ahead in technology objects you can add servos uh, here in technology object okay i have separate video on this you can watch it in this card okay just click on above link you can watch the uh, servo related video here okay. okay so this is plc tag so if you click on default tag table you can see these are the always true always false these are the default tag table you can add tags here right this this is the tag name this is tag data type this is tag address right if you want to return to you have to click on the return to on this right so now again here plc data types okay you can give uh, you can use udt here you can you can use uh, give the user defined data type so in this you can give the data type also this is watch and force table okay if you want watch or monitor any register you can add it is in force table and you can force the value in that register or anything okay so now let's take one example okay let's go to main we have called manual program so just go to manual program perfect so before starting program we will configure some tags here okay you can add tag table here just right click on this uh, click on add new tag table or you can just click on this add new tag table okay if i click on this the one table is added here so just rename this we will give the name input tax right click on input tax so then this window will appear so let's configure our first tag suppose my first input is emergency switch okay boolean address will automatically come okay if you want modify this you can just modify this address like this but this is our first input we will consider so i will take as a i0.0 second one start mode of pb 
same boolean next address will come let's take third one stop motor pb perfect then it will take continue address so no need to give the address but if you want to modify it then you can modify it okay mm, then let's take trip feedback motor trip feedback motor trip feedback okay now take mode output contactor output means motor contactor motor contactor okay so rs is q0.0 i want to configure for output right so i will just click q0.0 okay this is our output so let's configure one more output that is motor on lamp it will take next address right continuous address so now we have configured these tags here so uh, let's go to manual program just write code here what we will write code if i click on start motor pb then this output will be on right and with this output the lamp will be also on and if i click on this stop motor pb then motor will stop means this output will be off and uh, the interlock for this motor is emergency switch and motor tip feedback okay so in manual program okay now here this is you know contact right nc contact this is output coil this is branch down this is branch of right close branch and this is open branch and this is for empty box so for empty box we can select any instruction here right so now if you want to create new network this is where you can see insert network if you click on this one network will add here if you want to delete this you can just click on this you can click delete button or you can just click on this delete network right if you click on this then all networks will be open if you click on this then all networks will be closed means it this is closed condition this is open right so let's take you know contact here so i will click here i will just click on this you know then one you know will be created here okay if i again click on this if i click output output will be there perfect now we are config already configured the tags so i will just click on start so so if you click on sta means start the tags which is already related to this word okay Yeah, it will be in this drop down list just select your tag so i will select this is our tag which we have recently added here okay or one more way is if i will click on this just minimize this we will just minimize this okay and now i want here mode stop motor pb right so i will select this and just drag and drop here in this way you can give the addresses either you can type here suppose now we want to on the motor contactor or means q0.0 so either you can click q0.0 press enter okay or you can just click you know you you know the name of tag that is motor contact so just click on m o t o r motor okay so you can see the all names related to this motor so you need to just select your as per your requirement so this is q0.0 so i will select first one that is motor contactor okay these are the multiple ways you can take tags you can give the name to the tags okay again we want emergency push button i want to take so 
so i will just click on this you know so i always prefer emergency nc here contact okay so i will just select this drag and drop here tag name okay so it's depend on okay which you want uh, which is uh, which is the easiest way as per you right so i always prefer the name give okay, by giving the name so let's hold this contact now you can select this you can join here you can also join here you can also join here you can see after i click on this you can see here if i join there so i want to latch this contact so i will just copy this copy paste means if i press the motor start push button then this output will be on and it will be latched from here right so one more interlock is there that is trip feedback so it should not be a trip so let's give trip if i click on trip no motor trip this is motor trip feedback right now uh, i want lamp right so whenever this if i click on this let's paste on here and let's take the output you can use the shortcuts also shift f7 for output this is for you know shift f2 right so we'll take output motor on lamp okay in this way you can write the code here perfect so i will just control s i will save this or you can just click on here save project now here you can see the multiple symbols here so this symbol is for compile so if i click on compile it will compile and it will see is there any error in the program is there any error in code so if there is any error it will show in this list okay you can see here the program is compiled compiling finished error zero warning zero is there is no any error there right then this is download to device if you are connected to the plc then mm, you can download this program in plc with the help of this download button okay you will start simulation ahead so uh, and if you, once you download the program you can go online with the program right so let's start with the simulation if i click on this start simulation Okay, it's showing uh, we cannot start simulation because the CPU firmware version is uh, uh, for the simulation. The CPU firmware version should be a higher higher of 4.0 or it should be a 4.0. But we have taken uh, 2.3 or something like that. Okay, so don't worry. For simulation, uh, I have another video. You can watch this video and you can see how to simulate and how to download the simulator. Okay. So for simulation, we will change the hardware. We will change the just uh, type of PLC, right? So just click on PLC. Right click. Click on change device. So from this drop down, we will select uh, latest one. So this is version 4.4, right? Uh, we will select version 4.4 click on ok now Save the project, click on PLC, 
click on simulation okay So let's start simulation. You can see this is simulation uh, window here PLC sim is selected as a PGBC interface and the simulation uh, CPU is appearing here after start search so let's load the program in simulation PLC click on load Now, after loading, it will start for start modules. So here you need to select start module and then click on finish button. So now here the run uh, run LED is now in green steady means the PLC is in run mode now. So just click on go online now. We will minimize this window. <coughs> okay. After click on go online, you can see all green circles are there. Right? The circle shows these are all circles color are green. So it shows the program in PLC and the program in the software which is we have opened is same means there is no change in the online and offline program so from this monitor on off so once you click on this monitor you can monitor this window okay if you again click on this it will be we cannot monitor this window so if you want to monitor this just click on this okay. so if I add something here means let's suppose add one here you know here right let's give the tag emergency switch right so now you can see the color difference here okay this block is in green color this block is in blue and uh, what is it? orange color right blue and orange color so it shows offline and online program is different right you can see here online and offline program are different because we added one you know here and in PLC program this this you know is not available in PLC program so that's why it is showing the online and offline program is different that's why this sim was offered here it, it will show differences in lower level components right so now if i want to uh, download these changes in plc i will just click on this plc right click on this click on download to device and just click on software only changes 
once I click on software only changes then just click load okay now again you can see all circles are in green means the there is no change in online and offline program it is showing it is okay program perfect now let's on this motor so for this first we have to activate this emergency switch push button so we'll just modify to one right click uh, modify to the one okay actually this is hard uh, actual input right so actual input we cannot toggle to the actual input we cannot modify the actual input we cannot force the actual input right so for this we'll take memory width here so if i want to change the tag of this uh, emergency switch i will just click on and i will click rewire tag okay so with rewire tag you can assign any other input here so better way we will just uh, take you know nc here perfect so we no need to activate uh, we no need to on this button okay we will just uh, modify some tags here let's give the memory bit here start pb right click on this define tag so here it will take the automatic unused address here click on define right for stop we'll take memory bits stop pb right click define tag it will take next address automatically click on define right click download device software only changes click on load I click on this modify to one means the motor is now on motor contact is on lamp is also on if I modify to again zero it will be on because we have latch from here right so if I click on stop PV so click on this modify to one motor will be off lamp will be off okay. this is uh, very basic ladder right so if you want to go to offline just click on this VLC click on go offline now let's see the function of
give the name i will just give the name timer 1 click okay perfect so this is we have taken t on you can either take from here or you can just take empty box and give the name of instruction i will just delete this one okay now this is t, uh, t on is the instruction we have given the name that is timer 1 so this is pt means you can assign the time value time duration here so if i want 10 second let's check t hash 10 yes okay it means 10 second t hash 10 yes if you want suppose 100 millisecond just enter 100 yes yes enter it means 100 millisecond okay if you want 1 minute so you can enter t hash 1 yes okay we will take 10 second okay now this is q means output output of this block timer block right so we will just give we will give the one tag here that is timer done bit suppose i give on the name timer done bit okay now this means we have not assigned the tag for this name first i have given the name so i will just right click and will click on define tag it will take address automatically we'll just click on define right so whenever q0.0 will be on this timer will start and after 10 second the timer will be done and this bit will be on okay so now on this bit we will just of the motor so i will enter here in the nc will paste the timer done bit means whenever the motor will be on timer will start after 10 second this bit will be on from this bit the motor contactor will be off so let's download the program click you can just download or you can just change mail uh, send only changes okay so we'll just go online right click on this download to device to only changes watch monitoring on okay we'll trigger this bit contactor is on timer is started already 7 second 8 second 9 second and after time done the contactor is off okay means contactor is now off Okay in this way we can use this CMT box for multiple instructions you can call any instruction in this box let's take one more example here suppose you on counter you will just type ct you can see here this is count of instruction you can see corresponding uh, instruction for the ct this is countdown this is high speed instruction this is pto instruction pwm instruction in this way you can use the uh, empty box okay so if you if you don't know the instruction name you can find it from here from this this these are the all basic instructions here and these are the all uh, some advanced instructions you know in technology you can have all pid instructions here motion control here okay and these are the all related to servo okay so you can find all instructions here 
you have to just go through all the instructions and you will have your uh, whatever you are looking for in this instruction okay so we'll see one more one more thing in which we can define the tags okay so right now we have seen these are the plc tags in this tag we can add multiple tags here okay if you click on show all tags you will you can see the all tags uh, that you have created okay but you can uh, you can define your own tags okay so uh, let's see how we can add the block and we can give the name of uh, any tag so without address right here i have taken m2.2 but in the db i will show you we don't need to give any address so if you click on add new block you will have here data block just click on data block give the name of data block suppose uh, db1 no, no suppose i will give the name that is manual for manual actions okay so now this db is created here okay name as manual so in this db you can add multiple tags here okay i will show you how if suppose uh, manual on motor okay if i enter this name if i will just click on enter you can define your tag data type here so there are multiple data types it is array bool white okay so whatever you need you can just select the data type here okay. we'll select the boolean here you can uh, use this address in our logic let's suppose stop pb on hmi this is also boolean tag suppose we want to give uh, value to the timer we want to set the value in timer from hmi let's take one tag here set value for timer 1 okay so here i will select as a time data type is time if i want to uh, take this value from hmi so i will just select here return to we can uh, set return to or non return to here return to means if you power off the plc and you will power on again then the val value will be in uh, register it will not erase okay and if it is not in return to after power on it will be a zero so we will keep as a return to now, now let's use this bit in program i will just put in parallel here let's suppose take one you know What is the name of this DB? That is manual, right? So we'll just type here manual. Okay. If I click here, you can see all boolean tags here, which, uh, which is corresponding to this address. So if I select manual on motor, okay. So this means the tag is in manual DB and name as a manual on motor. Stop tag. We'll just take one and see one more way you can take this tag is just click on this db okay resize it now you know the this is the tag so just click on the tag we will drag and drop here this is one more way okay now let's give the pt to this timer okay we'll just delete this now here we will take this address to the timer suppose let's take here and we can drag and drop here okay means now the timer uh, timer value will be set from this bit okay this in this time uh, in this uh, tag okay we can assign the start value here let's suppose we can give t hash uh, let's take 10 second 
ओके इट्स डाउनलोड वर्स दर लेट्स चेक इनकन्सिस्टेंट डेटा टाइप फॉर नेटवर्क फॉर ओके जस्ट डिलीट दिस वन वन मोर थिंग आई विल शो यू आई विल जस्ट क्रिएट अ सीन है ओके नो इफ आई ट्राई टू डाउनलोड दिस प्रोग्राम ओके फर्स्ट प्रोग्राम विल कंपाइल राइट सो इन कंपाइ कंपाइलेशन इट 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 इज शोइंग द एरर राइट हेयर यू कैन सी एरर फाउंड ड्यूरिंग कंपाइलेशन परफेक्ट सो हाउ यू कैन चेक द एरर so you can go in this compile tab if you uh, don't know if you are not uh, the this tab is not shown then you can just click here okay in this way you can go to the compile tab and just look here where the, where is the error so here you can see network 4 is has error so i will just click here so it will uh, redirect to the error position right So now this is the error. That's why it direct redirects to the network four. Or here you can see it is showing in manual program FC one means this is FC one. In FC one network four has error, right? Okay. So we we'll just delete this. Let's download again. Load. Finish. online now you can see here the value is 10 second which we have already given in this manual db right we, we can modify this if you want to modify this just click here double click here on this t hash t tns or you can right click here and click on modify operand So we'll just give suppose 20 second, right? The value is modified to the 20 second, and you can see the status here also. If I click on this monitor tab, monitor all, it will show here. It is false. What is right? So we'll just trigger this toggle value. Yes. so motor on motor is on now so after 20 second it will be off let's see the timer status timer is 10 here you can see the timer actual value 15 second 16 second 17 now motor will be off okay after 20 second motor is off now okay so in this way you can create your own tags here can give you one name customized names right yes now you can use this watch table for monitoring and force the values in tag let's suppose check address i0.0 Suppose uh, sorry, M two point zero. You can take multiple addresses here. You can just you have to just click on this monitor all. You can see uh, current status here, monitor value. It means M two point zero is now in uh, off condition. M two point one is in off condition. Uh, now what's remaining? So in PLC. we have to try multiples multiple programs multiple logics okay then and then you will be perfect on plc programming so in the, this was the first part of the our basic lecture so in next part we will see the 
HMI program okay we'll see all about the HMI okay thank you